Alrighty, folks. Welcome in. Welcome in. What is going on? Welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Voodoo Val, and I am going to be your host slash creator, creative for this segment. I'm very excited to be back for round two of the Adobe Live Game Show. How's everybody doing today? How are you folks? I see Sam Peterson, Mr. Sam Peterson in the chat. It's good to see you. Um, I see Reg. Welcome back, Reg. It's good to see you. Jan Eric, the one and only. Greg, Anna Nelson. How are you, girl? It's good to see you. RB, uh, thank you for joining us. I see Becca Smith. I see Biola. Uh, I see Gareth. It's good to see all of you folks in the chat. Oh, howdy, Val. Fancy seeing you here. I know. This is a, this is a rare occurrence for me. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy running into you here, Sam. What are you up to? Um, Shauna Lynn is in the chat. Mama Shauna, Parmigiana. It's good to see you. <laughs> For those of you who don't know why I call her that, um, she has a, a very um, unique last name that some people have difficulty pronouncing. I believe it's pronounced Panchezen. Um, it's very cool, I think. It's, it's really neat. Uh, but she sometimes just puts her name, her last name as Parmesan um, on, online, which I think is adorable. Um, and I think Mama Shana Parmigiana just rhymes super well, and that's where that was born. Um, um, and I will call her that uh, on stream every time I get the chance, um, as long as she continues to call me Sith Lord Valpatine, because that is how this friendship works. Um, but it's good to see all of you folks. Um, I'm gonna kind of jump in real quick and let you folks know um, how the Adobe Live Game Show works. Uh, basically, what we do is yesterday when we started part one, we spun the wheel of design and we rolled for all of these words that you see at the bottom of my screen. So we got event, hard angles, nature, mystical, movement, and monotone. And the way the game works is I have to use at least four of these keywords to design something on the fly. Uh, we're doing graphic design today. Um, and what we started on yesterday was an admit one ticket for a romantic wizard and witches convention which I think is super cool uh, we started doing our sketch and I did mention to you folks that I was gonna do a little bit of work on it between yesterday and today so I'm gonna show you what we had yesterday and kind of what I did uh, in the meantime um, give you guys an update and I also would like to show you folks how um, I have taken a mock-up file uh, and kind of created it into something of my own making, which is really, really useful if you need to use mockups, if you have some really cool mockups to use, but perhaps you've used the same mockup in your portfolio before, or perhaps you found a really great mockup, but that mockup is something that you've seen used many, many times in other people's portfolio because it's a very popular mockup. Um, so being able to dive in and parse through all of the different elements in a, in a Photoshop mockup um, is really, really useful because you can kind of create your own sort of thing out of uh, all of those excellent um, kind of effects layers that are in there. So I'm going to dive into a recap and then we are going to jump into some more um, some more design. I got a I got a gig for an Italian restaurant years ago because they thought my last name was actually Parmesan. That's amazing. That is amazing. I frequently get calls from the underworld because my name is Voodoo Val. So it really works out that way. Sometimes it does. Um, it's Ukrainian, yes. Uh, what up, Doe? What's up, RB? Um, Odari, welcome in. It's good to see you. Um, and I had a few friends in high school who called me Shauna Parmesan because they couldn't say my last name. There was also Shauna Pastrami. I think Shauna Parmigiana um, is, is cooler, but I'm also uh, totally biased. Totally, totally biased on that front. All right, so um, this is what we started with yesterday. Let me pop over here. Um, so we have this ticket shape that I have done and we also did a bunch of sketches because the idea behind all of this was, let me snag all of this um, and I'm going to, I'm going to group this and hide it real quick. Um, let me turn that off. Okay. Uh, so what we did was we started with some with some sh sketches and shapes and the idea was that we would create an admit one ticket 
uh, for this event because it's an event using our keyword up there. We've got our mystical involved in this because it's for wizards and witches. Um, we have sort of movement, not quite, but sort of. We've definitely got some hard angles in there now. Um, and I actually, let's see. So we've got event, hard angles, mystical, and we kind of need to figure in either nature, movement, or monotone. And I'm not sure exactly if we are working in the monotone spectrum right now. I'm gonna show you the colors that I have chosen thus far. Um, and when I think of monotone, I think of like just two colors, um, but I think that it's possible monotone might actually mean like black and white. So let me know. What I've done is I've only utilized two colors, hoping that that will keep with monotone as best as we can. Um, but let me know how you interpret the term monotone, because I want to I want to see what your thoughts are. Um, and then the idea for today is that we would create a tarot card. Um, and somebody was saying, why don't we make like a dating app? Um, for this event and I thought that was a really cool idea. But we did do, actually, let me pull this up. We did do in the past a dating profile for a ghost named Bootholomew. Um, and it was it was pretty fun. Um, and so, so we've done something similar to that. So we have our Bootholomew, 247 years old from Spooktopia. His tagline is be my boo. Uh, astrological sign, he's a Virgo like me. And interests are looking for that special polter gal. I enjoy spirited conversations and long haunts on the beach. So this was a really fun one from a previous uh, episode of the Adobe Live Game Show. And I didn't want to do something exactly like this. So uh, thus the concept was born of the idea that we could have a tarot card um, and we could animate this tarot card as if it were um, like a Harry Potter kind of promo where if you've ever seen Harry Potter or read the Harry Potter books, um, there's a lot of cool advertisements in that realm that are very unique in that there's movement like on the newspapers, on the storefront advertisements, on boxes of candy, on books, on all kinds of things uh, where things just magically move and appear and disappear and all that kind of stuff. So we could do like a tarot card, like a magic mystical tarot card that changes um, and perhaps simulates the swipe left and right of like a dating app, which would be cool. Happy belated birthday. Thank you so much, Becca. Thank you. Thank you. Laura, it's good to see you. Val, if you were a vampire, would you be a Valpire? That's exactly what I would be. That is uh, exactly what I would be. 100%. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anybody in the chat. I don't think so. I see Anna is giggling. That is how you know the party has begun 100%. Um, and so what I did um, especially pertaining to our ticket um, idea here is I went and got a mock-up from Envato Elements for a business card with gold leaf on it and I changed the silhouette shape of that card and started to design within the mock-up. So this is what I've ended up with between yesterday and the start of this show, and I'm liking it. So as you can see here, this was a mock-up for a business card, um, and I made it longer and I cut these shapes out of it. I found my own texture for gold leaf because I didn't like the texture that was already in the mock-up and I changed the colors. So um, I also changed the icon because yesterday we were gonna go with, if I can jump back over here and kind of show off the icons that we were messing with. Um, we had this idea that we might do the uh, wizard hat with the hearts on it. And after I put it together, I didn't think the concept was very strong in application. Um, and so I just did this cute little wand with a heart on it because it was much easier and quicker for me to do. Um, and I think that the silhouette ended up being very interesting. So I have our little icon here um, with our heart, our heart wand. Um, I've got a little movement. Um, lines here um, and it's starting to come together as a really cool like gold leafed ticket um, and what I have going here is I have my layer that has or my file that has my logo in it um, and then I have these smart objects opened that show basically what's going on in the file so in this mock-up file, I had a place where I could put my own design. Um, and so when you have a mock-up, 
um, you can double click and start to alter what is within those uh, those those layers. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to close these and show you how I maneuver through this. Um, so right here, this is the design group and if I double click this it will open up this file where I've started to place all of these different elements um, and they are affected by these effects layers um, that came with the mock-up um, that apply kind of a bevel and emboss, a drop shadow, and our texture, if I scroll down here, our texture, I've tried out a handful of gold leaf textures that I liked better than the original one. Um, and I landed on this one and it works. And then if I want to change the design, all I have to do is come down here to the very bottom. Um, I'm gonna hit F on my keyboard just to open this a little further. Um, and I can double click here. And this is the legitimate file of the design. So anything I put here is as long as I save the files um, of the open layers in my Photoshop, it will appear in our final um, our final mock-up display, which is really cool. So for example, if I decide, I don't know why I'd do this, but if I decide I just wanna add a circle or an oval right here, um, and I'll change that to black just so you can see it better, and I control S and save, then you can see uh, if I come over here, it appears here and I do need to save it here as well. So if I save there, then I can come over to my, um, my original file um, and you can see that that is placed in my showcase. Uh, final image and basically what I can do um, from here on out is we can edit these two files to add really cool stuff into them um, and then once it's finished and it looks good over here we can save this as a PNG um, or a JPEG or however you want to you would want to save it and post it to social media put it in your portfolio um, and what have you so um, I am going to actually delete this because I do not want um, this to show up. Uh, I'm going to control S. Um, and then what I'm going to do is start kind of noodling around with everything else that I want to put on this. And I'm going to preface this with uh, we may or may not get to the tarot card because one hour is only half as much time as I usually have for these shows, and I'm kind of getting used to the new format of um, not having as much time, so it's possible that we might not, but if you folks would like to, um, you can actually go at, ahead and work on a concept of your own and post it in the Discord, which I will show you right here. If you go to bit.ly slash PS Discord, make sure that P and S are capitalized. Um, you can actually post post your, um, <clears throat> your sketches, your concepts, whatever, into the Photoshop Discord, and for every 10 submissions I get, I will have to spend, uh, spin a brand new design wheel and add, um, actually, another uh, keyword that we have down here to the project, just randomly on the fly. So if we get 10 submissions today, I will have to add something else into the project and I don't have a choice. I have to spin the hype wheel, enter hype mode, and just try to um, throw in whatever it is that we spin from that wheel and just make it work, make it dynamic, um, and all that good stuff. So I'm excited. Um, your submissions do not have to be 100% completed. They can be sketches. As long as it's a serious sketch or something that you put effort into to show that you're using the keywords and you are participating and kind of getting the creative gears turning and spending some time on it, it counts. Um, and yeah, you guys can you guys can post some cool concepts in there and see if you um, reach the hype mode and keep me on my toes and force me to add something new into this design on the fly. Um, all right, so let me pop back over here um, to my Strim Stram page. Let me go over here. Boom. Um, and I have got some reference up in Pinterest right now um, because I think it's always great just to have some um, some uh, reference up whenever you're working just to kind of keep your eye on the ball and keep yourself immersed in the kind of vibe you're going for um, and we're going to start working um, one of the ideas that i had for this is it would be really cool if we added some stars around um, because we have like this dark purple um 
kind of texture going on in the back here and it might be cool to make it look like a night sky. Um, so if I come over here, what I'm gonna do is I think I have a star shape. Um, and if I come over here, I think it's in the pitch deck here. Yeah, so I've got a couple of stars um, and I'm gonna just drag and drop them in. Um, and then I'm going to come back to my game show. Um, also, you have access to this library, the Adobe Live Game Show library. If you go into the Discord and check out the game show channel and click on the pinned messages that are in that channel, you will actually get access to all of these. So all of the assets that I've created for all of the previous weeks um, and everything, the colors that I use, the shapes that I use and everything um, are all in here. And I'm starting to accumulate icons and colors and elements in things for you um, in that in that library so um, I'm going to start with this small star and I am just gonna kind of place them around I'm gonna zoom in here um, and I'm gonna just duplicate and drag them around until I create kind of a dynamic starscape if that makes sense um, and what I, what I would like is to scatter around some of these kind of star bursts. And then I would like to supplement that with some actual circular dots, like so, if I make a new layer, select B on my keyboard, I can have my, um, my brush, my circle hard, hard round brush. Um, and I can start to place in, actually that's a little softer, we want like definitely a sharp, sharp brush. Um, start to kind of place in little dots. And I'm gonna arrange this in a way that suggests a fade. So I've got these, I've got little dots in. Boom. Um, I'm gonna do some even smaller dots and kind of bring this all the way down. Start to intersperse them up here. Uh, and then I am going to grab my large star. So we'll grab the large star. I'm gonna transform this and make it smaller, but just slightly bigger than the other burst. And I'm gonna start dropping uh, just a few, maybe like three um, large bursts, large stars in here. Boom. Um, just to kind of make it fancy. Maybe we'll add four, so there's two on each side. And I'm gonna drag this over here. Boom. Uh, maybe pull this up, pull this up to here, um, and drag this over. Okay, so we have like these stars that are kind of coming down. And if I save this, um, I'll save it in here as well. Save, and then we'll preview it on our ticket and see how that looks. Um, it looks cool because see now we have it, you know, because you can preview it, you can see that gold leaf kind of happening um, against the dark back background and it really makes them pop and it's actually looking pretty legit, I think. Um, I do want to mess with the position of our icon, however, because I don't think it looks exceptional there. Um, and we also need to get the title of our, um, of our event here, which I believe is Magic Meet. Um, and so we're gonna throw that in here. Let's uh, snag, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to grab all of these stars and group them and I'm gonna call this group uh, stars, boom. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open my, um, my library here and I'm going to toss you these stars so that you have these stars. They should be, let's see. Can I not toss those in there? Maybe I can't. Huh. I'll 
I'll figure out a way to drop those in. I don't know why. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for it to load um, if it's giving me grief. Um, unless I do have this selected. Should I have? Here we go. Let's try it one more time. Please, please work. Nope. All right, well, I'll figure that out. So then after today, you guys can have that. Um, but, okay, so let's uh, let's work on this. I want to maybe make our icon smaller and put that at the top there. Or maybe we can put it at the bottom. Like so. Um, and I might actually space some of these out. Uh, and then I'm going to, with my text tool, I'm going to throw in um, just the title here and see what that starts to look like. Um, so we're going to type in magic meet um, and then I'm going to center it and I'm going to throw that right here if I can. There we go. Um, and I feel like the text should be bigger, like about there. Um, and then I'll come in uh, and, and kind of move these around again. So let's see. I'm gonna hide this while I, oops. Why is that not here? Let me find our large star here, okay. Grab this, move this down, grab that, move that around. Let me toggle our text on. Um, our text, let's see, we need to bump that up and we need to bump this over and maybe bump this over as well so it doesn't look like it is encroaching on the alignment of some of the other elements. Boom. Okay. Um, I think that looks pretty cool, um, but let's grab our lasso tool um, and let's kind of transform some of this. Let me make sure I'm on that layer where I just kind of dropped all the circular stars. I'm gonna bump that. Um, and I'm also going to duplicate this and zoom in and place that over here because I think we need another star to over there. Um, and then I'm going to snag this one, um, duplicate it, and I'm going to drag this over here. Just to kind of, I think we need also another, oops, duplicate it and drag this over here. Okay, um, let's bump this down. I think that looks like a cool title on our ticket. Now let's save it and save it and take a peek over here at our at our ticket. <laughs> it's starting to look so cool. It's so cute. Um, Bliss, it's good to see you. Rick, welcome in. Judith, hello. You know me too well, pulls out Fresco. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so we have our we have our magic meat title. Ooh, I see like if you notice, there's kind of a little tangent here with this star. Um, so let me come over here and bump that. Uh, let me lasso it. I'm trying not to make everything look, I want it to look um, as if it's like really randomized and not too uniform. And I think, I think I'm doing it. Um, so let's save and check that out. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, so magic meat, we got our little icon and 
I feel like there should be like date and time stuff on here and maybe we move the icon up. So let's select this. Um, I think maybe we should move it underneath here, make it slightly smaller, boom, uh, and then move this over. So there's a little less in the way, I think. Um, okay, magic meat, and then I think there should be some lines of text, um, like a, a date, date and time, and I think we should use another font for that. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to turn it, my default, so one of my default fonts that I feel like always looks good, even if you don't end up keeping it, is Montserrat. So anytime I'm looking for... Um, I don't know, Z. I've been thinking about that. I'm not sure if it sounds quite right. So I was thinking that we may change the title, even though we voted it, uh, voted on it yesterday, because the whole magic meat thing is starting to sound a little awkward to me. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, we could keep it at magic meat, or we could change it to spellbound. Um, let me know how you guys feel about that. Uh, but yeah, Montserrat is, uh, I think, a pretty decent font. Where if you need a supplementary font, it's something that always looks good. Um, uh, like I said, even if you don't keep it that way, it's nice just to have another kind of neutral font to put some of your placeholder text or put some of your um, secondary information in while you decide what font you want to keep it in. Sometimes I actually do leave it in Montserrat um, because it's very legible. Um, it has so many different weights and forms of the font that you can typically find a version of Montserrat that works well with one of your projects. Um, I try not to overuse it, but I'm pretty sure I do. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this to light. I'm going to leave caps on and I'm going to type, um, I think that this event is going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make it set on my birthday to be honest. Um, and I am going to say, We're gonna, we're gonna word this differently. We're not gonna just put a date on there. We're gonna write something wizardly, like um, the 13th of, let's not, let's not use September. Let's use like a different kind of, like what's like a fantasy video game version of months, like, um, Huh, what is it? What, what should we do? Um, the 13th of the autumn cycle or something like that. Give me, where are my copywriters at? Holler at your girl. What, what, what should we do? I'm gonna say the 13th of September for now, um, but if you have any ideas for how this could be, put it in the chat. The 13th of September, I am going to, this is at a 30 right now, I'm going to make this smaller, I'm going to put it at like an 18, um, and I'm going to bump this down, um, and we are going to put the location, which the location I think is going to be the winter wood, because that sounds super magical, um, in the winter wood. Or we could say, we'll do like the 13th of September and then underneath that we'll say in the winter wood at twilight. Okay, we're gonna be, we're gonna, we're trying to be mystical with this. This is, that's one of our keywords, okay? We wanna be as mystical as possible with this. And I'm gonna bump this to like a 12, maybe more like an 11. Let's see. 10. We'll put, um, or, or we, we could put dusk or the witching hour, the witching hour. Okay. We're going to do the witching hour. Witching hour 
in the winter wood. Um, and we're going to bold this, I think. Maybe not bold, but we could put it at like a medium because it's slightly heavier than that. Um, and we're going to bump this up and center it if we can, if it'll let me. I've got a lot of elements here. Okay. 13th of September, witching hour in the winter wood. I think that that is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to change this to an 11 uh, here. Um, fall solstice, okay. Um, uh, if you had to, it could be a magic ball gala or, okay. Um, it could be, um, We could also make it instead of on my birthday, cause that's, you know, why not? It's my design, I can make it on my birthday, but we could also make it, make the date on Samhain, which would be interesting. That's more witchy than wizardly, but uh, let's see. Sam, that's the best I got. What is the best you got? Magic meetup could be a solution to that, but spell down, Spellbound is good too. Yeah, magic meetup is neat. I almost, let me see what Spellbound looks like, okay? Ooh, it does look cool. It does look cool, guys. It does look neat. I'm gonna leave it like that and you guys tell me how you feel about it after a while. Um, let me click here. We gotta move one of these. Those look pretty nifty. And then I'm actually, I've been, I've been kind of nervous about where to put this icon, but I think I might actually place it down here. Like hesitant where to put it, but I think it probably looks good right there. Um, and I wonder what it would look like because we had this idea that it could be placed, um, the text could be placed on, uh, oh, Friday the 13th. That's a good idea. Let's see. There's been a Friday the 13th in September at some point, I'm sure. We could say Friday the 13th of September. Um, that makes it a little longer, which fits pretty nicely. Uh, and then let's see what we can do about arcing this text just to see what it looks like. Um, ooh, okay, hold on. You ever just do something and you're like, hmm, you know what? You're good at your job. <laughs> I think that looks cool. I think it makes it look even more like old timey. Um, I'm gonna merge all of this and I'm gonna make sure there's nothing underneath here by selecting this area and moving it down because there was a bunch of stars under there. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm going to leave it like that, actually. Let's say, save, save, um, and let's check that out. That looks kind of cool. I don't know about the information at the bottom now, and I'm wondering if we could fix that by making the text smaller. I think maybe it could be smaller so let's do let's do it like this let's keep the bold of friday the 13th of september um let's cut that out and let's space space paste and put another one of these in there 
and let's double click this all and make it like a 14. Can I? Can we make it all a 14? This is gonna be tiny. Let's try a 10. No, let's do a 12. Nope, let's try 11. Okay, that, that fits. Let's drag our icon down. Boom. Um, I don't know, I almost wanna like get rid of the icon. To be to be honest, I don't I don't know if that's necessary. Um, and to be honest, if I get rid of the icon, then the hearts on admit one don't really make sense, and maybe we could replace them with the starbursts, uh, which which might be cool. Um, so let's let's actually I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. So I'm going to um, I'm going to bu -bu -bu, let me find this. I'm gonna hide this, and I'm gonna. Hide the hearts, and I'm gonna duplicate one of these. Zoom in. I'm gonna place this, the center mark there. Control J, oops, Control J to duplicate that. Bring it down here. I might bring it down just a little bit farther so that I can snag both of these and make sure they're centered. I'll do it like that. Like so. Um, and then group them, duplicate them, transform them, drag them over here. Um, it seems a little closer. Yeah. Bump these down. A little closer than I wanted. Um, okay. Save. Maybe we'll put one of these. Duplicate this. Maybe we'll put one of these down here. If I can hover over and get this properly. Um, let's put this at the center mark. Make it large. Maybe there's a big one right here. Boom, save, save, and then let's check it out. I think that's starting to look a little bit better. Let me know what you think. Um, I like it. Would a simple SB app logo look like for that? Um, SB, I'm slightly confused. I don't know what you mean. Maybe it's something that is, uh, oh, like like SB for spellbound. That could, that could work, but I feel like if we don't have the word spellbound out here, then nobody knows that it's SB for spellbound. Um, with a heart in the B on the A- Ooh, you know what? I like where you're going with that. What if we did this? Let me drag this up here to like a midpoint. Um, and then I am going to grab my text tool, S, and I am, I'm gonna change this to white so that we can see this here. Transform it, I'm gonna bring it over here. Um, I'm also going to need to remove some of this, um, S, and then duplicate T, and we're going to make this a B. Let's 
That looks legit. Group that. I'm gonna make that smaller. We have created ourselves an icon. That looks actually kind of cool. Um, I wonder if it should be on one of the more square... No, I like it on the long one. Maybe wands coming from either side with a little heart in the middle could be interesting. Um, I think the wand just needs to be moved up. I, I, so I thought about maybe moving the wand up, but I think that with all the other design elements that nothing that is part of the wand looks like it goes with the rest of the design. Um, and it's kind of difficult because I spent a lot of time making the icon. Uh, but I think this is one of those moments where we ought to just, you know, figure out how to, you know, they, they, there's a saying like, kill your darlings. Um, and that is just, you know, you're really attached to this idea and this concept, um, but I think maybe we should try designing without it um, so that we aren't keeping to this design when it's not helping the strength of the presentation at all. Um, hey gal, it's good to see you, good to see you. Um, and I think, I think with the amount of time that we have left that we are just gonna be doing the admit one ticket, but I'm definitely going to create a tarot card um, at a later date, because I think that this needs a tarot card partner um, when it comes to this. But I think that this is actually a pretty cool bit of design that we've done so far. I think it looks neat. Uh, so I'm gonna say save and save. Oh, you know what? Hold on, we have to mask this. Let me convert this to a smart object. Uh, I'm going to select that and I'm going to click here and I am going to mask, oops. Let me select inverse. And I'm gonna mask this because I forgot that I was using white text and not actually um, cutting that shape out. So now it's masked and that shape is coming through. So when I save, um, the silhouette uh, comes through over here for the embossing. Um, and then when I preview it on our card and our little ticket, that's starting to look pretty neat. Pretty neat. I like it. Um, let's see, what else can we do on this? I feel like it's missing some stuff right in this empty space, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it, if it needs more or if it would be too busy if it had more um, or what's going on. Um, let me, I'm gonna grab my lasso tool and I'm gonna bring this down real quick just so because I feel like a lot of these are on the same level right now and I don't think they should be kind of drag them up boom um, okay Maybe thicker wand with symbols. The heart unfortunately made it look too much like a tennis racket, I thought. Yeah, and, and I mean, if you guys have any things like that, put them in chat. This is a really great opportunity to like, when you're creating simple imagery, for everyone to say what they feel and what they understand from that shape um, because there's a lot of there, a lot of people interpret certain shapes differently um, I did not think at all that it would be interpreted like a tennis racket but if that is the case then I probably need to change the design a little bit I honestly was starting to feel like it looked a little bit like a bubble blower um, if you've seen those little sticks with the shapes and you could like blow bubbles which honestly it's a bubble wand but I don't want people thinking of bubbles when they think of spellbound I want people thinking of magic when they think of spellbound and another thing that I did kind of think even while I was designing it was it also looks very much like one of the Sailor Moon items and I don't know how cool that is to do um, but because I don't want to rip Sailor Moon but um, maybe it's just something that we don't use uh, unless we decide we're gonna add more elements to the piece um, that coincide with some of the design elements included um, in the wand uh, I'm gonna make this smaller and I'm gonna actually come in and change the size of some of these as well uh, I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna make this one smaller Just so there's more even more of a variation uh, Because I like I like having that and I also let me see I'm gonna move this Over here. I think No, I'm gonna keep this up here 
maybe just a little more like that and then we can bring this one over i just don't want anything on on like either axis to be aligned too closely with one another so i'm going to bump this up to the top and i'm going to bump this one down um and i think that's decent this one could even come here and over a little bit if we want um okay maybe we make this smaller so there's like kind of a size variation um and we could actually do that with this one too uh we could give ourselves a nice little nice little size variation there um okay a uh, bit sailor pluto a bit bubble wand yeah um Or a bubble wand, yeah. See, yeah, you were you were right on the money with that uh, um, bubble wand. Um, I think you know what would be interesting is if we had clouds. Um, and I'm gonna do a sketch here. Let me. I'm actually gonna group all of this together. My my layers are atrocious right now, um, but I'm gonna group this together and with my i'm gonna do a little sketch with my brush here just to kind of see what we can find with this what if i did um let me turn this moving down on this what if i did something where uh, there were just like these little cloud shapes kind of coming like that just you know just to kind of like because the spellbound my 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 reasoning here um is that uh do do, do is that um this comes up like that you know in like this nice arc and then this would continue that so that the eye of people like kind of taking this in they're seeing this like whole composition like kind of thing coming together i think that that could be kind of cool um so maybe we do that maybe we do that um simplicity is working for it it reminds me of the night bus tickets <laughs> You like the clouds? You like the clouds? Cause I'm kind of digging the clouds. Um, so what I what I may do is turn this on a small, like a lower opacity. Um, I'm going to crank up the smoothing on this and I'm actually going to draw these in. Um, let me grab black. So I have, I have smoothing on, so this is um, much easier than it normally would be um, if I was drawing without smoothing. So these shapes are very fluid. I'm getting top secret messages from Slack right now. Sorry guys. that and then let's have like a big one a bigger one come in from over here and we could even do one more like that um and then let's do another one let's do our our big one here I don't want them to be symmetrical. I want them to be asymmetrical for sure. Okay, let me maybe make that one like that and then bring this one up. Um, 
could possibly be a little cleaner because I am just like drawing these in and everything else is done in a more graphic style where there's like shapes and hard edges and stuff. Um, but I think that it works, to be honest. Um, I think we can make this happen. <laughs> I don't want to get too crazy with it though. I'll leave it like that. Um, okay, let me unhide this and let's save and let's see how that looks. Um, we got four minutes left, so this is probably going to be one of the last things that we do. Um, I actually think that looks really cool, and I, like I said, I think that it could use maybe a little more attention, um, but it's not bad. It, it's kind of like puts the, the concept in. I think that it's a little bit right side heavy, however, so let's spend a couple of minutes kind of tweaking that. Um, let me see. I am going to lasso and remove this one. And I'm going to lasso and move this one to like right here. And then bring that up like that. Um, and then I feel like this could use one little bump here. Uh, we can erase here because I feel like this one just needs another little tiny bit of detail on this side and we can just put another little cloud bump. Boom. Um, and then... That might work. I'll lasso this and cut that little dot out. Um, and then what I might do is come in with just some more little stars um, in places. And we may also take, duplicate some of these, make them very small. And I think it's plausible for there to be some stars in the clouds. I think that that could work. So I may place some stars in the clouds. Just some tiny ones. neat um let me save uh we got one more minute left um so i think that's where i'm gonna draw to a close here that's gonna be the end cody cody what's up it's good to see you cody uh yeah like you said maybe a few more uh finer stars we could definitely do that uh, but this is our spellbound um ticket i really like it i wish we could have done the tarot card as well but we're kind of crunching on time i think one thing i'll do off camera though is make the lines of the clouds slightly thinner to match the thin the thickness of the border lines there um but i think this looks super cool um and that is all i have for you i have to take off because i do not want to um, get cut off but this is our admit one one ticket for the Spellbound Wizard, Romantic Wizard and Witch Meetup event. Um, and I'm pretty stoked about it. I think it, I think it looks pretty neat. So we got nature in there because we got our clouds, we got hard angles, it's an event, it's mystical, there's a little bit of movement. So typically, technically all we didn't use is monotone. Um, and I had a blast. So thank you all so much for joining me. I've got to take off. Um, I hope that you folks have a wonderful day. I hope that you continue to design um, and make awesome stuff. And I will see you next week. Adios, everybody. Mystic.